Many fish. It's the 23rd of December, 2017. Very early in the morning, and I just refreshed my headline generator here in the second article. 13 kills. And if I scroll down more, you'll also see 32 killed. At least today, 1.23 a.m. At least today, at 4.10 a.m. 13 and 23 straight off the top okay but I really wanted to show you this the UN is gonna mark Mandela's 100th birthday with a peace summit next year September 2018 they're going to mark his 100th birthday with the peace summit Mandela peace summit the resolution calls the anti-apartheid leader da da da, da. 2009 Inter Mandela International Day on the 18th he was born and it has a typo here 1981 I know that means 1918 but regardless and then way down here hidden down here it says Mandela died December 5th 2013 now I know this is probably going to be a little bit strange but bear with me if we go from his death on December 5th, 2013, I don't know if any of you recall the major weirdness that went along with his death and the huge ritual that they did with all the world leaders. You remember? Well, from the day he died until today is 1,479 days, which equates to 211 weeks and 2 days, 2112 not an accident okay then they give you his fake birth uh, birthday in 1981 a typo by accident well i wonder why that turns out to be i mean you know come on folks 9 11 9 11 it's it's all here so are these coincidences or are these Lucifer's little snares and little scooby treats he likes to dangle in front of people like carrots and have them chasing things all around, you know? Well, I tend to not think so because I always have to get some sort of verification. And I just come to a random Bible verse, I hit new scripture, and I get Matthew 23, 12. Not 13, 12. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Awesome. Well, I go to Matthew 23. There's verse 12. Look at 23, 13. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For ye neither go in yourselves neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in yeah that pretty much sums it up right there you know what I'm saying this is those who I point my fingers at are those scribes and Pharisees the synagogue of Satan this is what I was called to do I don't like go around and cherry pick all these things I see I mean I mean I can't explain it to you these are the little things that are put in my path that I am compelled to share with you because they mean something and then we work together and we try and figure out what is the message being sent here that's all it's all God God is above all and certainly all good things come from God. So, if I'm not doing good things, then he'll deal with me. But I love Jesus, and I serve him. It's just that simple. So, I had to share these with you today. Pretty, pretty wild. You gotta admit, that's pretty weird. From the day he died to today, 2112. That's nuts. Anyway, Shabbat Shalom, y'all. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord.
and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 